Hello everyone, Jose J. Garcia with Garcia Mahome University here. Quick video for you. Um, qualifying tenants, uh, very much asked questions repeatedly and one that I definitely suggest you do each and everybody. Um, and you know, this can go the same thing for park owner, park management, even if you are an investor, there's certain things that they need to know, you know, about the investor or whoever it is that's coming in and invest in so that they know something about them at to the minimum. So now a lot of the parks that we invest in, we don't, you know, we built quite the credibility from our end and we're able to, you know, invest in a lot of parks. But uh, so we're able to kind of bypass the background scene, that sort of thing. Plus, we have good references, so we're able to back it up with that. But when it comes to an end buyer, an end buyer, well, and that could be for a rental, that could be for rent to own. Technically, end buyer from both ends, right? End renter, I suppose. But those you cannot. <laughs> you cannot. And let me stress that because, you know, one thing that uh, that we see all too often is investors get in a hurry. They get in a hurry. Once they get that home rehab, it's moving ready. It's livable. They just, whoever takes it first, has to get it. And that's not how it works. And again, that could be for rent to own or it's a simple rental. These people, whoever you accept, will be living in that home. So you need to do your, your homework. You, you need to have a background and know who they are. Okay, certain things that I would definitely toss out there. And again, this is not something you can bypass, be light on. You know, it does not matter. Anybody in buyer has to do this. They have to fill out an application. Um, you have to collect all kinds of data as information, and we can list some of that. You do have to run a background check on them. Yes, we provide affordable living, but it does not mean that we don't want to know what the credit history, for instance, means. I don't mind so much the sense of the actual credit score. Now, I will look into it. And, you know, if I'm getting something like 400, that sort of thing, you know, it could be alarming. But a lot of times, a lot of people don't have credit. So just keep that in mind. And that's what I mean more so as not so much the credit score. What I want to see more so is how they take care of their bills, their payments, whatever they, whoever they do owe. You know, if you see, if you start going down to this um, credit check and you start seeing, you know, defaulted or behind or so, you know, account after account after account delinquencies, you're probably going to be the next one. That, you know, that's unfortunate, but that's usually the way that it plays out. So again, not something you take lightly, you know, and I would ask, you know, definitely, yes, hard times come around. This is life, life happens, that sort of thing. But, you know, when somebody comes in and, you know, one delinquency here is 30 days behind or 60, you know, we can try to work with them and see what we can do. But when they have 10, 11, 12, or even more back to back, that's more of a trend kind of thing. And I'm the next one in line. So again, you know, kind of keep it up to mind on that. Run local and national crime check, definitely. And any park's going to make you do this anyway. A lot of times they're going to want to run their own credit. And if they do, I will simply ask for a copy of it or ask for a copy from the actual end buyer when they get it back. A lot of times they won't share that with you because it is confidential personal information. But they'll hand it over to the uh, end buyer. And I want to see a copy of that. So criminal check, uh, something hard. And again, you know, a park is going to discredit a lot of these uh, end buyers if they can't pass it. If they see a lot of felonies, for instance, especially recent, you know, if they have a felony, for instance, let me say that, and it's been 10, 15 years ago, nobody's really going to pay so much attention. They're trying to see something that's more new, fresh, something that has been done recently is what I'm saying. So, uh, you know, but I would definitely run check. All in all, what I'm getting at is you have to have a thorough gather of information of who it is that you're trying to sell or rent to. OK, call employers references. That is huge. You know, I ask for these numbers and a lot of investors I see to ask for them, but they do nothing with them. If you're going to get reference numbers from, you know, an employer that goes hand in hand as part of the process to get them into it. You don't wait to call these people after the fact. Once they start defaulting on you, it's really irrelevant. That's that's a number you should have called. And a lot of investors don't take the initiative to call those numbers. So definitely when I, I ask for a minimum of three to five references and um, it, that could just be a family member, it could be places they live and I want to call and try to get an idea based on that. And I'm going to toss one more tip at the end of this, by the way, uh, call previous landlords. That is huge. A lot of times you're not going to get that information. You can kind of tell and, you know, like anything else, try to fill the individual out. Uh, no, you cannot judge a book by its cover. But while I'm talking to somebody, you can kind of tell somebody's giving you the runaround, feeding you nonsense. Uh, where do you currently live at this time? Um, well, we're staying with my mom. That's a red flag already. Odds are they're probably not, or maybe they had to kind of thing, but they don't want to give me information of a landlord. So, you know, and of course, when I call their mom, they're going to, you know, give me the best of version of them. Comment. That's fine, but I need to know. I need to know landlords. I need to be able to tell. And hey, at the end of the day, if you're running through all these checks here and everything is a flag, 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 you know, you can't have, 
you can't be so lenient on some of these uh, end buyers. I mean, it is what it is. If after so many of these questions, everything is a red flag or it's a telling you it's a no, I would probably go with your gut on that and say not approved at this time. OK, um, when in doubt, definitely do your research, check on all the above. You know, again, when it comes to letting somebody live in your home, just always remember they are going to be living there. It is a lot easier to get somebody into the home than it is to get them out. If they do start defaulting, even though, yes, of course, I have eased up all this nonsense where we couldn't evict tenants, buyers, et cetera, it does not mean that it's not lengthy either way. Now, one thing that you have to remember is that you have to be paying lot rent every month. So if it takes you even a month, you know, that's a lot month that you have to go pay because if they're not paying you, they're probably not paying lot either. And the way we teach you to structure that anyway, it's not one and the other. It's one payment directly and you take care of it kind of thing. But that being said, I mean, you know, it's just, it's a delay. It is a delay and, and it all starts with, hey, how much did you trust or how much did you know about this end buyer before you let them into the home? And when I hear that usually, well, they seem like good people. They didn't really have the down payment. I kind of worked with it. You know, you had the red flags that you needed and you allowed it. So now, you know, it's a learning. What did you learn from this kind of thing? So, so those are a few uh, things that you can't check for qualifying tenants. The one tip extra I was going to give you is, you know, because most of when you think of uh, mobile home investing is treat your Facebook marketplace like uh, real estate treats Zillow, truly a realtor, FMLS, MLS, all the others. To us, mobile home investors, Facebook Marketplace is the place where we advertise for homes, so homes, for handyman, for contractors, all the above. That's our go-to. That is the biggest source, and it's free. So on there as well, being that that is said, that's usually where we get our, our comments and our messages come through. Hey, is this home still available? Is this home available for whatever? And, and as they're messaging me and I'm get, gathering this information, I can see their profile. So that's an extensive one more pre pre screen I call that you can do on them. I want to know who I'm talking to and I want to know kind of the lifestyle in a sense. So, you know, there's nothing legal against that. I simply go to their profile. I imagine they're doing the same thing to mine and I try to see what kind of lifestyle in a sense they have. And again, you know, all in all, if you're if you're advertising it, I want to check it out. So if I, if I see full of stuff that I probably wouldn't want to deal with, then I'm probably going to be I'm already getting a red flag out of that in itself. But all right, I hope this video helps. Got a lot more videos coming on this education. I had a lot of questions come in and I think it's about time for a Q&A. I think that's coming around the corner. So we'll definitely do that. Stay um, stay up to date with our stuff, all every event that we have, whether it's live, Zoom, we're definitely starting to do a lot more live events now. That is awesome. I love the network, the relationships building, but we do have a lot of events that are on Zoom. Mobile Home Mania, Mobile Home Mania on Meetup. If you're not part of that, go ahead and go follow Mobile Home Mania. That is a group that I took over and we are advertising a lot of everything else. Just trying to get every avenue available to y'all to be able to get to. Visit our site at GarciaMHU.com. Um, I'm going to quit saying this because it's coming, but I am tired of saying it. It is being updated. It is being updated. I promise you. It will look super professional by the time it's done. When it's done? Soon. But all of our sites are there. Uh, you got uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, et cetera. YouTube is a great source. That's where you're watching this video. But we have a lot of other videos there that, uh, you, you know, if you're looking for other education, we blast a lot of tips, uh, nuggets, education on that as well. And if you are looking for direct coaching, visit us directly at jayatgarciamhu.com. Till next time, thank you for watching.